braids written in blood, a chalk turned into a wooden stake, and a bat became a handbag? That means our new professor is a vampire! Find out how to make school supplies for a vampire in our new video! It was a regular day in college! Right up until a bloodthirsty vampire decided to suck all the life energy from our favorite Mr. Cosine! Give me your strength and youth, Beardy! And your place in the classroom! Mr. Cosine gets weak right before our eyes! Professor, are you alright? Students, your professor decided to go on a spontaneous vacation! What? Who's that? And what's going on? Get ready to meet your new professor! She's allergic to the sun! She has her own habits and special school supplies! Pour white glue on a notebook with a ruined cover. Put a paper towel on top and press it down to make folds. Let it dry. Then coat with dark purple acrylic paint. Attach a stone to the center. Paint a pattern on it with white and gold acrylic paint. Coat it with blue gel polish on top. Dry the stone with a nail lamp. Add dots of gold pigment. Cover it with a top coat and dry it with the lamp once again. Apply a pattern with black hot glue around the stone. Meet your new professor, Miss Elsa! Thanks! I'll add some gloomy decorations! Well, students, let's start the class! Rosie, what do we do? Rosie has loved vampires since Twilight. I see she's a fan. Alex? I see he's dumb. And Holly comes from a long line of vampire hunters. Give me the mirror. Let's reflect the sun with it. Vampires can't stand the sun. But Miss Elsa's lapis notebook protects her from the sun. These students are so naive. And Miss Elsa doesn't reflect in a mirror. It all adds up. Our professor is a vampire. Are you out of fun ideas? Hurry up and check out our new channel, Troom Troom Wow. It's full of dreadfully fun ideas, life hacks, and pranks. Follow the link in the description and subscribe to Troom Troom Wow. Our bloodthirsty professor says we are taking an exam. That's so cruel. Rosie knows everything about vampires, but nothing about math. Ah, bad luck. Alex hopes he can manage it. He trusts his intuition. Now we'll see how your intuition works, you warm-blooded mortal. Boo! Alex, you are so gullible. Give me your paper. I'll check it with blood. Take a cork out of a decorative bottle. Put a pin in it and attach a chain to it. Tie a black ribbon to the chain. Pour red art ink into the bottle and put the cork on. Miss Elsa is marking our tests with the blood of Pennsylvania's best students. Good job, Alex! You get an A! But the grade doesn't make Alex happy. Turns out he's scared of blood! Whoops! He is so sensitive! Holly is determined to fight the vampire! Miss Elsa, this is the end for you! Holly, do you think you are Geralt? Well, good luck! We'll see, Holly! First, pass my class! Write down the topic of today's lesson! Blood type diets. Rosie came prepared for class. Her notebook is screaming, bite me, vampire. Divide a big sheet of red paper in four parts. Put the sheets in a stack. Score a line in the middle with the blunt side of a knife. Bend the sheets in half. Poke holes with an awl. 
Join the sheets with a staple. Attach white foam paper vampire teeth to the cover. Well done, Rosie! This is a perfect notebook for my subject. I approve! Let's write the topic of the class on the blackboard. Whoops, does anyone have chalk? I do! This is special wooden chalk for your blackboard. Make triangular cuts on a cardboard tube. Hot glue the edges. Cover the slanted end with hot glue. Trim the edge with a knife after the glue dries. Put chalk in the hole and fasten it with hot glue. Sharpen the chalk. Color the tube with acrylic paint. Add details to make it look like a wooden stake. Holly Helsing is all ready, and she comes to the blackboard with vampire fighting chalk. Welcome, Holly! The topic of the class is global problems, but our main problem is the vampire teacher who's all scared of a little wooden stake. Keep your chalk away from me, Holly! Your attempt to kill me failed. Go back to your desk. Rosie has her own problem. She made a mistake in her perfect red notebook. Her love of vampires made her letters get all mixed up. What should she do? Rosie, you can easily fix it with something red. No, blood is too much. Hey, Rosie, look, I have some bloody whiteout you can use. Cover up the logo on a whiteout. Add red food coloring to it. Write blood on the label. Add blood drips with red gel polish. Cover the background of the label with black paint. The bloody whiteout fixes all the mistakes on red paper. Thanks, Alex. You saved my neck. Anytime, Rosie. Great idea, students. The next day, Holly, wake up! Did you spend the whole night here? What were you doing? Holly Helsing has been creating a perfect vampire weapon all night long. Divide light clay into three parts. Cut a clip off a marker. Wrap the body in clay. Shape the grip of a dagger. Wrap the cap in clay and shape a blade. Add the guard of a dagger. Let the clay dry. Make a cut along the cap. And color the dagger with acrylic paint. Make the blade silver and the handle gold. Here comes Miss Elsa! Ah! You are still alive and still here! Fine, let's check your homework. Alex, I'll start with you. Here it is, the perfect moment. Holly goes for the jugular. Oh, this is not what you think, Miss Elsa. It's just my marker. There's nothing sharp about it. It won't hurt a vampire. See, I can use this dagger to take notes. And what is this winged monstrosity? This is Batwoman Rosie. All vampires love bats, right? No, go home and change. Fine, but I'll be back. Rosie is actually back. This time she has a chic vampire outfit on and her favorite bat turned into a fanny pack. Now that's a great outfit for a vampire student. Dark fashion. Make a bat shaped fanny pack cut out from vinyl black faux leather. You'll need two pieces like this. Also cut out two bat heads. Apply fabric glue to the edge of the head and glue both parts together. Stuff the head with cotton and glue the hole shut. Assemble the body of the bag. Glue in a zipper, a belt ribbon, and a side release buckle. Attach the head. Cut fur for the chest and eyes out of white foam paper. Attach it with fabric glue. Draw black pupils on the back of glass stones. Attach them to the foam paper eyes. Good job, Rosie! I approve! Come in! A bat is every vampire's loyal friend! It can hold your phone and other essentials! 
There you go. Another vampire is the last thing we need. We have to beat Miss Elsa, not love her. Guys! But she can't stop the other students. Alex also brought a vampire item into class. This is a mini wardrobe for a vampire cape. Put a piece of red velvet in a black rectangular box. Attach a piece of a wooden skewer to the walls. Use black hot glue. Attach big beads to the doors of the wardrobe to be handles. Cut a vampire cape out of an eraser. Add a cut at the top. Attach a picture to the eraser. Bend a paper clip to make a hanger. And glue it into the eraser. Hang the cape eraser on the rod in the paper wardrobe. How nice! A little black wardrobe! And there's a cape eraser in it! This cape makes all my drawings invisible! Alex, can I have a look? I love it! This is a gift for you! It seems like Alex will be the vampire's new assistant! The next day, the same thing happens to another group of students. Get ready to meet your new professor, Miss Elsa! Please, come in, my lady! Are you ready? Hello, class! Did you like our vampire school supplies? Then comment below which craft you liked the most. A bloody whiteout? A cape and a wardrobe? Or a bat fanny pack? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new vampire ideas from Troom Troom.